I drive a pickup truck for a few different reasons. But the main two, well, number one, I'm a Maya. Number two, well, it's a tool. I can get things done with it. But today, my friends, I'm gonna turn this tool into another tool. That sounds right. And we're gonna use this to do it. All right, so what do we have right here? Well, listen, if you've been a subscriber to this channel for the last few months, you know that Harbor Freight, also known as Harbor Fracas, they've really been coming out with some cool stuff and really been raising the bar of their store. They're going more professional than they ever have before, which is great, and that's the reason why I'm bringing their tools to the channel. Well, this, my friends, is a Doyle Vice. They sell this. I'll put a link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get paid by Harbor Freight. I don't make money from Harbor Freight, but I want to show you this because it's, it's real nice. Like Now, this looks like a basic vice that you would put on a bench top. And by the way, you can do that. On each side, you have this right here and well, this right here. So if you wanna put this on a bench top, that's fine. You can do that. However, if you wanna take this out in the field, <laughs> now you can. Now, when I started messing with this, I was like, okay, big deal. It's a vice, it's probably going to break, you know, within the first couple of uses. If I take a sledge, put this down on that, you know, it ain't lasting long. And then I started reading the specs and that's the most impressive part. Even though this is really cool, let me tell you about this a little bit. Now, a lot of bench top vices are made out of cast iron. So they're good for, you know, vicing things down. But when you're pounding on them, they could crack. They're not that strong. However, this, well, this is where Harbor Freight's really stepping things up. Now, instead of making this out of regular cast iron, which you would see a lot of bench top vices made of, they made this of 60,000 PSI of ductile iron. Now, if you don't know what ductile iron is, well, instead of just a cast iron, which was more brittle and able to break or bust if I were to take a hammer to this, they mix the iron with other metals such as magnesium or other things to make it more strong. So instead of this thing being real brittle and just cracking once I hit it with the hammer, it would more likely dent. Basically, the metal would move around a little bit instead of just splitting off and falling on the ground. Let's take a look at some of the other features. Now you have a built-in anvil right up on top right here. And if you look right here, it's not just one piece of metal that's sitting up on the top. It's blended in. It's actually a piece of this entire vise. You're also looking at two and a half inches wide and five and three quarters inches long. I also think a lot of people, when you look at that box, you're gonna say, wow, it's too close to the actual bumper, but it's really not. You're sitting back about six and a quarter inches. Now the adjustment on this vise is super easy to make. I mean, look at this. It is a very well-oiled machine. <laughs> now this will expand out all the way up to your actual hitch. And in total, you have a maximum of five and three quarter inches of the jaw capacity. Now, I do like the machining on the jaws. They're not that aggressive, but they do have some grip. You also have a very, very large piece of metal right there, about a half inch thick on each side. Now, another cool thing about this is check this out. You have them on this side and you have it on this side. You got the smaller one up on top and the larger one down on the bottom. And what's cool about this is, well, bring this down a little bit. Oh, that's for your pipe right there. Now to hold these pipes in comfortably, you can put in a half inch all the way up to three and a half inch worth of pipe on this right now. And now if I want to, I can cut my pipe or whatever I need to do while that's being held, while that's being held on the back of my truck. That's real nice. And on top of all that, you also got a clamping force of 7,700 pounds. That's 7,700 pounds. That's 7,700 with a comma between the seven and the other seven. It's also real nice. So again, the jaw width, you're looking at about six inches. The throat depth, you're looking at five inches. And altogether, the entire unit weighs about 30 pounds. I just can't get over how smooth this is. I'll close it up for you right now. And again, the cool part about it is if you don't want it on the back of your truck anymore, you simply just take it out and you can throw it on your bench. Just to let you know, these are made to fit two inch hitches. Now you also have two bolt down slots for optional bench mounting. You get a 90 day warrant. So it's not the lifetime, but it is 90 days. So if any defects, anything falls off, anything's not working like it should be, they'll take it back, return it, or give you a new one. However, I'm sure you could probably buy the extended warrant on this if you wanted to. But what about the price of this thing? You're probably thinking it's around two, $300. Nah. It's actually on sale right now, and I just found that out. There's a coupon. If you were to buy this full price, you'd pay $129, but you're saving $30 if you use the link in the description below. Again, it's not an affiliate link. It's just something that I found online. On FYI, you got a big old meaty pin on the back of this for your hitch, and it comes with everything you need right out of the box. So for this entire thing, you're only paying $99. Isn't that real nice? Like you get to save some money. If you're a subscriber to this channel, and if you smash that like button, share it out. 
through all your friends, I'm sure they're gonna love this as well. Good job for Harbor Freight. I mean, seriously, they are stepping their game up. And I, you know, it is a good thing to see. I know they got that stigma of the, the older days, but they're really trying to come out with some good stuff at a reasonable price. And it is showing in stuff like this. If you wanna see more of the Horbar Freitas videos, I'll put those right there. We'll be back with more videos soon.